Oh, uh, many of us have questions around vaccines generally and about this vaccine in particular and any that come and let's presume that some others will come um, after it and in good short order as well. So let's have a chat with Tom Phillips, editor of Full Fact, about some of the myths around uh, vaccine, um, around this vaccine and others as well. Uh, Tom, good afternoon to you. Hello. Good afternoon. Uh, do you have a favourite myth? Um, I've been one thing that we've seen and we've seen a lot of vaccine misinformation since the beginning of the pandemic. One of my favorite things is uh, the belief that um, there is, in fact, a vaccine that already existed. And this was all part of a plot, which is because people have mistaken things like cow vaccines and dog vaccines, because, of course, there are lots of coronaviruses. And so there are vaccines out there for coronaviruses that affect cows. And people have seen pictures of this and have gone, look, there was a vaccine all along. They're just they're just pretending. So there is a cow vaccine, is there? Uh, there is not for not for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that uh, is causing COVID-19, but for different coronaviruses, because there is a large number of coronaviruses yes, yes, out yes. there in the world. Pesky, pesky coronavirus. Yes. Um, and uh, as ever in these things, Bill Gates' name comes to the fore. Yes. Uh, once again, since the beginning of the pandemic, um, Bill Gates has been a magnet for misinformation about this because, of course, you know, he uh, does a lot of work in the field of funding vaccine research, funding medical research generally. Uh, and so we've seen a lot of claims that uh, this is part of some population control program that he's doing, that the vaccine will have a microchip in it uh, that will be used to track the population. It's you know, we're saying in case we needed to clear this one up. No, the vaccines won't have microchips in them. This is possibly a misunderstanding of a, a, a research program that they had to uh, uh, create patches uh, that you could put on the skin that would deliver vaccines. Um, in a better way, but that's not a microchip. <laughs> vaccines are, don't have microchips in them. Are there any myths around um, uh, the, the, linked to the conversation I had a few moments ago with a caller called Sam, who's 28, so he's not in line to get the vaccine because of his age. Um, but he and his wife, his wife's in the in the medical sector, but they, influenced by her, he said, you know, he, that they wouldn't take it even if it was on offer to them uh, because of the short space of time in which it's been developed. Has that emerged as a sort of fertile ground for, for myths? Yeah. And so we've seen quite a lot of stuff around this. And of course, it is worth saying, yes, this has been a very fast development time. Um, and it's also worth saying that, of course, the trials aren't over yet. Um, you know, it would be premature to go like and yes, this there isn't vaccine. a vaccine that's been approved for, the, for use yeah. in this country. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It would be premature at this stage to go, yes, the vaccine is definitely safe because we haven't had the trial results through yet. The early stage results are promising, but it's not certain. Uh, but it is worth saying that nonetheless, these vaccines will go through um, the same kind of checks, the same kind of regulatory approval. Even if they're fast tracked, it's still the same body that would approve a vaccine in normal times is doing the same thing. And they're still looking at the safety data and the efficacy data that will come out of those trials. Uh, and of course, it's worth saying that even once it is approved, those don't stop. We, you know, people will continue to look at the safety of these things after uh, they've been rolled out. The, my, I, the reason I asked you whether you had a favourite myth is I have a favourite myth, and it's that okay. it's that a COVID nineteen vaccine is already secretly, against our will or our knowledge, being administered to us when we get a nasal swab test. Yeah. Um, I, again, it's worth saying, no, the nasal swab tests are not a secret way of vaccinating people. We think that this may have come, again, from a misunderstanding. There has been some research into whether or not uh, nasal delivery might be an effective way of um, delivering vaccines uh, in the future. But that's not what's happening. No, the nasal swabs are not uh, secret vaccine vaccinations. Um, if you think about the logistical challenges that we're facing, uh, producing and rolling out the vaccines that mm. uh, do not even uh, yet exist, then the idea that we could have somehow secretly mass produced this vaccine and are rolling it out and that it's still being delivered via you sticking a cotton bud mm. up your nose is not realistic. <laughs> How do we, you know, it's one thing for you and I to probably agree on these things and smile at some of the craziness of some of them. Um, how do we make sure that that doesn't turn into snarking and patronising and alienating people that we'd actually, I, I speak for myself here, like to encourage to take the vaccine if it's available to them? Well, I think it's really worth saying that actually being having a degree of scepticism is perfectly OK. And as I said before, it's far too early at this stage to say definitively whether or not a vaccine would be safe. And it probably wouldn't be approved if there were questions around that. It's Nobody is yet, are they? No. 
Exactly. And so there's absolutely nothing wrong with having questions. And it's perfectly natural. It's perfectly human to want to be well informed before you have any, you know, medical intervention. That's right and good and proper. It has to be said, however, vaccines are very rigorously tested. Vaccines are subject to a huge amount of scrutiny, possibly more than many other medicines. Um, and the these trials will make their data available when they are complete. And so we will be able to scrutinize that and we will be able to have independent people looking at that data and saying whether or not uh, they think it is safe, whether or not they think it is effective.